So this video is going to review the performance differences between using an array as if it was a queue versus using a linked list if it was a queue. Now an array, if you looked at one of my previous videos about performance operations in an array, you'll see that um, unshift is really, really, really slow compared to the others, whereas pop is the fastest one. And these two are kind of fighting for second and third. So basically to explain how this works is we're actually just pushing an array up to the size of 1000 and then continuing on as the test progresses as far as it can before it resets and runs for, runs again. So to explain these tests, it's important to understand that you have to actually use the value. Now there is going to be a little bit of performance degradation by redoing another push at some point in this test in order to do that, but that's okay because I'm also doing it in the other test as well to make sure that they're balanced. So one is basically you fill up the array a thousand times and once you reach a thousand then we're going to actually dequeue from it and then keep adding uh, and then loop again and keep adding but we're never going to let it get bigger than a thousand we're going to keep dequeuing after it gets to a thousand same thing here with a linked list we're going to count how big it gets and when it gets too big we're going to start pulling off the front and continue to add on to the end so I'm going to go ahead and run this test and I'll pause the video so you guys can see the results. So here we are with the results. And as you can see, acting as a queue using a linked list is magnitudes faster than an array. 10 times faster, basically. I mean, near 10 times faster. Um, and that is because of the nature of how an array works. Where, you know, shift is not a terrible operation. It, it's not as bad as, say, doing, um, uh, doing unshift but it, it's still not the best type of thing for this. You're modifying an entire set of data every time you add and remove. Whereas a linked list is something that is designed for this type of stuff. Literally is intended for you can insert, pull out, stick on the end, remove from the end type operations and it will always perform the exact same way each time. There's never going to be any overhead. Uh, when you actually do um, modifications to a linked list, and this is its benefit. Its downside is that you know you're not carrying around a package uh, that is indexable. It would be very difficult for me to return number 500 out of a linked list that's a thousand in length because I would have to iterate all the way through to find it. And so each time the getting of a value in the middle of a linked list is going to be slow. But if you were intent on actually just looping through all the results, a linked list is probably a good choice. And if you want to check out what a linked list looks like, check out my first video, which describes the linked list in TypeScript and how it works and, and some of its APIs. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to review and emphasize that arrays are not necessarily the most performant object that you can use for collections. There are other alternatives and in other languages other than JavaScript, this is done quite often. Uh, using things that aren't arrays is, is, is a way to go. Uh, arrays are just so common in JavaScript that people have gotten used to them. And arrays in other languages actually don't change in size typically because every time you change an array size you're really actually making a new copy. Uh, there's some downsides to it. JavaScript engines under the hood have done a lot of optimizations to try to make arrays more performant. But as you can see here, there's clearly a large difference in performance when doing array modifications.